me come marie and in this video we are going to be fulfilling this custom photo pendant order go ahead and give this video a like a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new here i just know you're gonna love it here um we're starting off with this heart pendant and what i'm doing is just kind of laying the pendants down trying to see which pendant is gonna go best with what photo they didn't ask for a specific one. They just wanted five photo pendants of whatever one I had. All right, so now I kind of got it figured out where I want everything to be. So now I'm going to start cutting because I'm starting off with a heart. I'm basically tracing this heart um, dome with the scissors, basically. Keep in mind with the curves and angles of a heart, it's not going to be perfect. Be careful. Don't cut too much try to stay outside of the line this is the name of the glue i will not answer that question in the comments Now I'm just gently applying pressure. You see how we have some glue coming out through the sides. I use a baby wipe and a baby wipe only to remove the excess glue. And so next we got this cute little baby and I have my one inch hole puncher. That's a one inch hole puncher if you're looking for it. Look for that on Amazon. Ordinarily, I'd use super glue to um, glue the photo to the tray. I'm just out right now, so I'm using a small amount of Mod Podge on the tray. Just a small amount. Don't OD with that. Right here, you can literally see the air bubbles leaving the photo as we apply the pressure. I let the glue sit there for a little bit just to seal it so that we are avoiding air bubbles and then I wipe it. And now we're basically just repeating the same steps over. The rest of the pennants will also be a heart or either circle.
Like an apple, match with the acres with the horses in the cavalry. Narco, narco, got dope like Pablo. 